Dr. Sheila Kanani. Now, she's a planetary scientist and education, outreach and diversity officer at the Royal Astronomical Society. She's in Livingston Hands in Lancashire. And thanks so much for joining us. Um, physics was invented and built by men. I just wondered what you made of these comments and, and whether you were offended. It's, um, it's quite mind-blowing that he could come across, you know, saying things like that. We've got so much evidence of women being integral to physics over the, the years, the many, many years that it's sort of been around, you know, from women astronomers thousands of years ago to all the amazing women that did so much work hundreds of years ago when they still had to pretend that maybe their husbands were actually doing the work for them. And then unsung heroes like Caroline Herschel, who... Um, who, who spotted eight comets and worked alongside her brother, William Herschel. It's just unfounded that he could really believe what he was saying. He says, of course, it's not an opinion, but comes from the data he's looked at. Um, he's now been suspended. Do you think that's the right thing to have done? I think it's a really strong message from CERN um, to show that someone who is senior like he, he is... Um, that you know they can't kind of get away with saying things like that it's not okay to to say something like that and then remain in that position i think it was certainly the right thing to do from certain yeah speaking a little bit more broadly can you give us a sense of how far his comments reflect a wider sexism within science i think it's actually yes there are people like that out there and um, particularly in physics but there is a really positive brigade of us who are championing diversity in physics and astronomy. There's some very, very strong people and lots of events going on and people talking about diversity of all types, not just the gender divide in, in physics and astronomy and in, in the wider sort of STEM, um, in the wider STEM environment. And I think we have to celebrate these positive changes and educate the, the future generations. I was interested in that statistic in Palab Ghosh's report there that only 4% of physics professors are women. And I wondered if you could perhaps give us an insight as to why that might be. I can't speak for, for the women professors because I never made it personally. Um, but I did get my PhD and the research environment can be quite difficult if you're female or if you um, do have a, a, a another kind of... Um, string to your bow that's slightly more diverse. Um, it can be quite a scary place and it can be difficult to get those research papers out there. And one of the main problems is that unless you get those research papers out there, you don't often get your funding. So the pressure on women and others to be publishing results all the time is really, really high. And the problem with that is, of course, that women do have time out of work to have, they, um, have children and have families. And then do find it harder to get back in. So if you're not able to publish those papers or get the funding, then it is hard, harder to progress in your career. So are you saying that in order for there to be real change, there needs to be a much wider cultural change? Definitely. We've been talking about cultural change for, for quite a long time, and we, we really want to talk from uh, the Royal Astronomical Society's point of view to the wider community's point of view on how we do change that culture and how we make it less funding driven or I know, you know I know people need to get paid but it shouldn't be about academic publishing and in order to get funding there should be something else a different way of measuring success. We all know how important female role models are for young women but I know that you are also a secondary school teacher and I just wondered what sort of stereotypes you encounter about female scientists among your pupils? We do encounter a lot of um, stereotypes and we do try to shatter those stereotypes as much as possible. We are often, um, well, the young people are often surprised that I'm a physicist, that I'm, I'm female, I, I look quite young, um, but we, we work with them and we talk to them about how women can be astronomers too. And over time and over, uh, you know, during, during this time of working with them and showing them how amazing physics and astronomy is and that it's not just for boys, we are hopefully changing the landscape. Uh, Sheila Kanani, it's been great to talk to you. Really appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us here on Thank BBC you. News. Thanks.